Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson okay before you start recording your audio you need to ensure that your levels are set properly to get the best results possible so how do we properly set our levels it's actually very easy I'll use a very simple saying that really gets the point across in the green a little lean in the yellow let it mellow in the red almost dead. So as I'm sure you gathered from that, you want to try and live in the yellow as much as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, you will definitely have times where you're in the green and you'll definitely have times when you touch the red, but your goal is to try to keep your audio averaging in the yellow. So if you're recording something that isn't very dynamic, as in you're not getting really loud and then really quiet and everything in between, if you're relatively consistent with the volume of your delivery, you'd want to try and keep your audio averaging between negative 12 dB and negative 6 dB. But if you're recording and you know your delivery will be highly dynamic, you'll want to try and keep your audio averaging between around negative 18 dB and negative 12 dB. That way, when you do get loud, you have a decent amount of headroom before your audio will clip. A little later in this course, we'll get to front-end processing where we can use tools such as compression and limiting to ensure that we don't clip our audio. But for now, set your levels and start recording.